Hello everybody! I hope you're doing good today and you know it's very heavy energy today so definitely uh, my guides and everything. I did have the live today with Ify except that for some reason something happened that it didn't save so or we don't know if it's gonna show up in stories i don't know what's going on but other than that effie is in writer cf ig today she's there so if you have any questions for her um anything to do with e-waves you know go ahead and you know she's there for just for the day and uh yeah we had a really good conversation i wish that um you know, it, it was uh, posted, but technical issues or something that we couldn't figure it out. Honestly, the video, she say she shared it, but it's just got lost somewhere. So we don't know where, where it is, <laughs> um, which sucks. Other than that, there is a new podcast uh, with her as my guest. So you can go ahead and listen. I'll leave the links below. Also, uh, there's a new blog about e-ways. I go a little bit deeper on in terms of, um, you know, what we talk about in the podcast, but also um, things that, you know, are causing e-ways and, uh, you know, creating more awareness. So that's something that I wanted to put out there. Um, let's talk about more about sustainability, e-ways and stuff like that. Other than that, that was one of the main uh, things that we were talking about in the live. And also she she is very bright and very um, educated about this subject. So I really, really encourage you guys to, after she's out of the Writer CF uh, Pass the Mic today, uh, still reach her, I'll leave her um, IG handle. So you can, if anything, you have any questions or anything that you would like to know, or if you'd like to support her organization, Jewa please go ahead, please do. But today I'm here also for women. Um, this month is women's month, right? It's a, a month of, of us uh, speaking our voice and being heard and amplifying, you know, women of any color, of any race, their voices, especially those who are dealing with intense uh, things that, you know, it's not really talk about. So this today I'm doing, uh, being literally guided, uh, my ancestors and angels and ancestors and a an universe card, especially for these uh, days of that we are, you know, grieving. And I just wanted to say, hate crimes, xenophobia, misogyny, patriarchy, capitalism, all these things are violence violence and it affects women in a in every way and this is why we have to literally dismantle we have to do this not in regards of whatever government is saying or whatever anybody's saying we have to do it within ourselves so also creating awareness at the same time because it's not just like, okay, well, we need to, uh, white supremacy, we need to dismantle. Yes, we do. But it also, it starts from you. You have to do it from within instead of projecting. And yes, you got to amplify women's voices. Oh, those women that like, I'm, I'm still, honestly, I had to do the live today. And I was telling Effie today that like, I was, I don't, I feel so enraged. There's so much rage and, and 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 because hate is just it's just ridiculous and 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 the fact that we are still in this era where we are allowing this because white supremacy is if you're ignorant and silent it's just gonna continue and if you're not voicing and defending people who are literally being target like right now the asian community has been target the entire since the pandemic started and now because of these women that like no this has been happening since before what we need to do is literally create awareness and also defend and protect women and elderly and our communities right now who are voiceless it's not in the news this stuff and now when they put in the news it's completely like 
brainwash. Like I'm looking at the articles of uh, what's hap happened yesterday. It's just crazy that the media, it's normalizing this and look, making this guy who is literally a white supremacist, uh, like it's just like a normal thing. Keep doing it. Keep posting, keep putting pressure. No, we do not accept this. Women right now, Take your social media, take your thing if you can't get out. Yo, our girls, our Asian girls, our sisters are in trouble right now. And we need to stand, stand and voice it out. It's not okay. All the white women right now, we need you. Asian community needs you, okay? You need to voice out that you are not okay with this. This is another thing where we are so unconscious that we act and ignore and do things that are not, it's just not okay, man. And it hurts. It's like, it's just, and that too, we need to be okay to grieve. But right now, women don't even have chance to even do that. Like we don't, we don't got time for that. We don't, we're, we're dying out here, right? So this is what I'm saying is that Yes, take the time to grieve and, and that should be, you know, our, your right. But, you know, I understand that a lot of people are just, you know, creating community, creating activism, creating uh, uh, protests and all these things. But take breaks. I know for sure my guys are, because this is, this is war. War against women. War against Asian community, black community, minority, marginalized community, like, because we are voicing, we are aware, we are getting conscious and the people, the elite who control everything else don't like it. It's just the weirdest thing that this random guy just going to this thing and does this. This is something that I still don't understand. I don't get why people, like, I don't understand. I, 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 why do people do this? Why? Hate should not be an option anymore. We have to start with love and all these things. But at the same time, it needs to be addressed. Why supremacy needs to be dismantled. The system, all these, like the, literally the economy, the system is crumbling and it knows this. So this is why we need to be held accountable for our own selves, but also for other people. Like this is not okay. And let's start um helping uh, asian communities right now and do whatever we can to protect our sisters okay let's protect our sisters please all right so other than that that's what i wanted to put out there my asian community we are with you this is not okay xenophobia hate hate it's not okay and we need to dismantle white supremacy like for real like and it's gonna take all of us collectively connecting and collectively doing this and let's do it okay so let's see what the universe is telling us today so here it is i don't know if you can see it i witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So absolutely, let's look at this and try to find, even though there's so much going on, there's so much rage and, and hate right now, let's, you know, take our time and look at things with love and care because grieving needs this time. So we need to heal that aspect. And I know that a lot of people, like, I'm, like, in grieving for these women, like, and I know that this is something that I'll be doing after all of this, but we have to do that. We have to, okay? Now, let's see what the ancestors want to tell us today. So what should we focus on this week? And I absolutely agree. Warrior. Mm -hmm. You're a warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. 
And this is also for women out there who think, oh, my voice is not good enough, or I'm not, uh, this is not something that I could do, or, oh, I don't think, you know, it looks good for my IG brand or whatever if I voice about hate, cr Asian hate crime, it's not okay. Okay, it doesn't matter about your audience. It doesn't matter about your brand. It doesn't go with your brand. Every single person should be right now voicing this stuff and protesting and doing things that needs to be done for our communities, especially it's not just because it doesn't affect you and because, oh, that's not my community, so it doesn't matter. No, every single community, all race, all sex, everything and affects all of us. So we need to stand, be fearless and stand strong. The message, don't back down. Make your points heard. Don't settle for second best. A warrior is anyone who is ready and willing to know themselves and do what needs to be done in order to get where they want to be. In this deck, the warrior embodies fierce primal love. The warrior within, the energy you call you can call to protect yourself. Even if you think you're, you love yourself, if you're exposed to a situation that could be harmful or dangerous, the steps you take to protect yourself are in fact acts of fierce love. Although the warrior in this car is surrounded by darkness, he is of light. The warrior within is made of light and has the capacity to shine even more brightly when facing darkness head on. The extended message. If you're experiencing fear at this time, know that this means whatever is going on is important to you. Wherever you feel fear, you're on the verge of something big, perhaps a massive breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward. If you have a situation on your hands where you have to face someone or something that's being unsettling you, know that you're being guided to call up your inner warrior. Don't falter and don't be frightened because you have the energy to protect yourself now and, and at all times. Collectively, everyone protecting each other and being that, going back into the inner warrior and doing what needs to be done, but also I believe 100% in order for battles and things to continue, you have to take your time to break, to, you know, and grieve. You gotta take time to grieve. You gotta take time to recharge. You gotta take time for that and then go back. That's how it is. You rest, recover, recharge, and then action, okay? Stay conscious, be that warrior, and you know, support our Asian community right now, okay? Let's do that. Let's, let's uh, be there for each other. Let's support each other and let's let them know that we love them, that they're, they're this this is horrible that this is you know we're not gonna allow this in our ecosystem and we're not gonna allow this for other people to be affected like this it's not okay so let's do our part let's take care of each other be kind to each other have compassion through this you know acknowledge this rage and hate and don't keep it there don't stay there okay Get back up, find love, find joy, find things that, you know, you know, how can you uh, give back love while you're feeling this rage? Who can you give that? Turn that, use that rage and hate to create love, to amplify love, because right now Asian community needs that love. They really do. And we need to be there, okay? Hope this helped you, this card reading. And I hope you have a good day, even though it's very hard. I know it's very hard. And I'm saying that to you, but I'm, me and myself, I'm, I'm really sad and, and, and angry about what's happening. And I don't know if any of my Asian sisters that I, or friends, that something like this happen, I just, I will be, it's, it's not okay. Have a great day and I'll see you next card reading.